Thank you for joining us. Um, today I'm going to show you how to search the 19th century Italian records and we're going to be using my great-grandmother. Her name was Lucia Ricciuti. She was born 1870. I've got that so far. Lama di Pellini, Chieti. Chieti is the province. Abruzzo is a region. Italy is the country. She died February 6, 1959 in Brooklyn. So to find her record, what we're going to do is we're going to go into, she was in the province of Chieti. So we want to look at the Chieti records. So we're going to click on there. And there are three types of records. There's Napoleonic, that was uh, early years, let's say until about 1815, when um, the town was ruled by Napoleon, essentially, um, by the Bourbons. After that, there was the Restoration. That's when the Kingdom of Two Italy's, I'm sorry, Kingdom of Two Sicilies, and they essentially were in the process of becoming a nation. And then the Italian nation was established in roughly 1865 or so. So let's go to the Italian records. And we are going to search for the town. And remember, it was Lama de Pellini. Here we go right here, and we're going to click on that. And we're looking for citizenship, marriage, marriage publications, death, death indexed, birth indexed, or birth. Now, let's take a look at birth. And it's just a little slow here. Let's give it a little bit of time to pull up the records. All right, here we go. See, we started these in 1866. We're looking at 1870. So the best thing about these records is, are there are indexes at the back. So you take a look at the last frame. And let's just make this a little bigger. And let's zoom in. OK, here you see. Ricciuti, Anna Lucia. Now, I've searched this before, so I know her actual name was Anna Lucia, and the record can be found in 104. So let's just add that to our record. Anna Lucia Ricciuti. So I guess Lucia was either her middle name and she went by that, or she went by Anna Lucia and nobody knew. Um, so this is 104. So that's towards the end of the records. Let me just take a quick look. And let's go to roughly the end around here. And let's zoom that in for those of us that are playing at home. Make this nice and big. And the array I can see that I can see this is number of order is 104. Trento Quattro 104. And it is the birth of Anna Lucia Ricciuti. And I know this is my great grandmother because right down here it says married with Gennaro Di Falco in 1890. And it says essentially volume number eight. 21st of August 1890 and that's the civil record holder whoever authorized it so essentially somebody went in to prove that she was born um, is the process in the process of getting married and they're just confirming this is her birth record so let me just go ahead and go through this um, it's written in Italian Italian script so this says in the year 1870 on the 14th day of December 20 of Italian time in Lama de Pellini. So that was, what's that, 8 p.m. in Lama de Pellini. And it says, Albino Rinaldi, who is the mayor and official of the state, in front of me is Domenico Ricciuti, Di Luigi. Notice Di Luigi shows that he is the son of Luigi. And Luigi is born is still alive otherwise it would say Fu Luigi um, the Annie of Trenta which means 30 years old so Domenico is 30 years old he's a profession of contadino contadino could mean farmer it could mean peasant sharecropper essentially he wasn't part of the wealthy class 
um, lived in this town and he presented a baby with the sex of female and he declared the day of yesterday at the time of Dichoto 18, so that was 6 p.m. of yesterday. Remember, this was the 14th of December, so we know yesterday she was born the 13th of December, 1870. Um, from his wife, Giuseppe Borelli, daughter of Nicola. Nicola is Nicholas, and that means Nicholas is still alive with who he live, lives with in house, and that's the house, I guess it's on Pioni Piazza, that's the road. And the daughter that he declared, the name was Anna Lucia. And the rest of this just goes through witnesses. There's a witness, Antonio Dorenze, there's a Giovanni D'Andrea. Not really that critical that we know that. So what do we have here? So we know from this record, Anna Lucia was born December of 18. Father was Domenico Ricciuti. Grandfather was, do I remember here? Luigi. Living. Mother was Giuseppe Borelli. Grandfather, let's say maternal grandfather and paternal grandfather. Pater maternal grandfather was Nicola. So Nicola Borelli Ving. Also, we know Domenico was 30 years old in 1870, so he was born about 1840. So this gives us, uh, oh, and also she married Gennaro Di Falco, 21 August. 1890. So this gives us some more leads to chase. We can look for her father. We can look for her grandfather. Her mother, her grandmother. We can look at her marriage. This gives us four or five different paths to choose from. And so we can discover more about Lucia. Um, so in the next one, we will probably take a look at their marriage record, and we'll see if that offers any other information. If you uh, like this video, feel free to hit the light button, hit the light button down at the bottom, and this way uh, other people can enjoy it. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Hope you enjoyed that, and I look forward to bringing more of these to you.